I'm Janet Trithall. I'm a volunteer in the museum and I'm also vice president of the Murray Society, which owns and manages Elgin Museum. And my favourite object in the museum is this class two picture stone. And the reason why it's special to me is when we first came up to stay at Cowsey, um, then my husband was teaching at Gordonston. He came in home one day and said, I think you'd be interested in seeing something that's um, outside the headmaster's office, which is holding open the door where the children are sent to wait to speak with the headmaster. It was almost certainly one of the group of stones from Canada, um, this big collection that we have here of, of Pictish and early medieval stones from Canada near Lossiemouth, but it was found in a dump of stones at Gordonston, and the reason why the stones were at Gordonston is because the first Draney Kirk, which is on the extended runway of Lossiemouth, and when that was taken down to extend this runway, then the stones were dumped at Gordonston as heritage of the Kirk. So almost certainly the sequence has been Canada, Draney, Kirk, and then dumped in the grounds of Gordonston. And I spoke to Robin Burley, who is one of the curators and family members at Vindolanda on Roman Wall, who was sent when he was a pupil at the school to have a look through this dump, and he found the stone there. The stone is particularly interesting to anyone interested in Pictish art because it's a class two Pictish stone, which means it uh, combines elements of Christian art and um, symbolic pre-Christian Pictish art, so it's in the transition between these two periods. So it probably dates, um, I, we don't know for certain, but probably about the 7th century AD. It crosses in the middle and we have the symbols. We have a mirror here um, and we have a comb symbol here, as well as the intricate uh, carving, which is more typical of, of later Pictish carvings, but it's combining the two, and it's the only, what is uh, colloquially called a class two stone, it's the only example that we have here uh, from Canada. It's very special to me because my husband and myself and Gordonston were instrumental in getting this into the museum. Um, and as I say, it really does have an, an interesting history that we can trace. Thank you.